In today's video, we're going to be talking about networking skills for small businesses. Good day. My name is Heinrich Huvier. I'm the owner of ESA County Network and I've been in the accounting industry since 2008. So over the years, I've helped many different people start their businesses. Um, in today's video, I want to share something that I attended quite recently. It was a business talk presented by a guy. His name is Steve Reed. He's an author of a book called Entrepreneurity and he also has a business coaching business with the same name, Entrepreneurity Business Development Services. In this video, you talked about some soft skills when it comes to networking and what to do when you meet new clients and how to present yourself and those type of things and I just went to him afterwards and I said Steve listen this material is so valuable for small businesses I've seen it over the years in the past where people start businesses let's say for instance there's some techni technical designs that they're like welders or boiler makers or plumbers or even people that does graphic design work and I've seen it in the accounting industry how many accountants are there that's really excellent at what they do but when it comes to soft skills of how to sell themselves and they're lacking that area over there and that is exactly what Steve discussed in this video over here so that's why the reason why I decided to share it with you as well I've got his permission if you guys are maybe you want to get in touch with Steve as well his contact details will be in the description of the video and then before we start just remember to give this video a like as well and subscribe to my channel and let me show you what this is about so what's an, what is a networking ninja? What's a ninja, first of all? You know, it's these guys that just like they're able to penetrate and they're there. Well, a networking ninja is someone who has become fluent and, and capable and confident in networking. So that's what we're going to look at. So Andre, let's go, to, I mean, uh, 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 Heinrich. So why is networking important? Can I, can I get some feedback? Why do you think network, networking, walking, is important? Okay, because you can't do it on your own, because it's really, it's, there's a level of support there. Share what ideas, else? Share ideas. Share ideas, fantastic. You yes, Judy? Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, so um, another one or two. How about this group over here? The, who comes? Together. Stronger together. What else? Small businesses about relationships. Fantastic, Neil. Awesome, Heinrich. I heard him once say they talk about who you like. So it's not. It's about who you know. Okay. Okay. It's about who you know. Absolutely, Heinrich. Why don't you go to the next one? Thank you. So here are. Uh, reasons why networking could improve your net worthing, if you like. Network is actually an absolute skill that every small business owner, every entrepreneur should be not just doing once, but doing consistently. All right? It's the, and, and, and some of the things you said are already there. It's the ability to share knowledge. Um, you know, I, I have been running my own business for nine months now and Heinrich is my accountant Woo! Yeah. Uh, you know and amazing like I would ask him something and what he would do is he would say you know in, uh, uh, Heinrich he's got this like a dry sense of humor and he would say just just watch this video <laughs> <laughs> and you know what he's done he's actually created little blocks of chunks of information about accounting and finance etc so instead of him having to explain to every person he just says watch this video and I watch it and there it tells me what's happening there information and you know where I met Heinrich here all right and potential to gain referrals I think that um, you said who said that it's it's uh, someone you know who you said it Judy right and that's exactly the point you may not know uh, how to expand your virtual assistant business or you're thinking of something and you don't know how to get that person. But Mark has a, oh, but, but I know that person. And that's how it happens. So that's where, that's why you, you are active and persistent in get, going for referrals. It's partnership opportunities. It's amazing what can happen. Uh, you know, you meet up with someone and then you can partner together. I've thrown my hat in for the Youth Start Cape Town competition. Um, and, and I'm going to draw in Turin. Heinrich, I hope you're still available um, because I think I'm going to get that. 
and I'm going to draw in people to help deliver a quality product. Where did I find Turin and Heinrich? Well, I knew both of them, but it was concretized in this kind of meeting. Uh, it's ability to build your reputation. You know that the, uh, reputation is very important. It takes a lifetime to build a reputation, and it takes a day to lose it. But if you are consistent in your network and they say, ah, this guy is always, or this lady always shows up, etc. It helps to build a brand of consistency. Motivation and confidence is gained from others. I think you said something like that, Nita, that, that you know, we can't do it by ourselves. It's incredibly arrogant to think, I'm going to start my business and I need no help from anyone. Heinrich, here's another joke. Um, I am the world's best teller of jokes. Ask me why, uh, what the secret is to telling good jokes. Is Timing! <laughs> <laughs> that, sorry. <laughs> I did that once. And, and uh, you know, because I did it aloud, the person went, ah! <laughs> Potential lead generation. So always, good morning, good morning. Always, always think about why am I going to this networking opportunity? I spoke at a, there's a, there's a I don't know whether it's called the Valley or Fishhook, but there's another networking uh, group in, in Fishhook that meets on a Friday. I spoke there yesterday. Okay. And, and think about why are you attending this? I'm also a member of the chamber. Um, so why do you go there? What's the purpose of it? Don't be, don't be fuzzy. Be very, uh, okay, I, this is, I'm looking for some more clients who could be, um, I'm a virtual assistant, I'm looking for them. And think about how you're going to do that, all right? You can learn from like-minded people. Would, you, would it be fair to say that along the way we can be subject to lots of discouragement? Hey, Andre, um, by yourself, you have limited views, etc. But sometimes in a, in a group like this, something magical can happen. All right. Um, and, and you know what? It takes quite a bit of character to get out of bed and come here at what time in the morning? Eight o'clock in the morning. Well done. Well done. Thanks, uh, Heinrich. So. Why wouldn't we just go for it, etc.? Maybe like Bruce, you are in the comfort zone. So anyone, what does it mean to be in the comfort zone? We've heard that. We use it as a figure of speech. We've got to get out of the comfort zone. What does it mean to be in the comfort zone? Any? Risks. Moving away from what is com what's familiar. Okay. So, so to be in the comfort zone means you're familiar. averse to risk. You don't yeah, want to take risks. Yeah. What else? If you're in your comfort zone? Pardon? You're into a routine, okay. But, but like Bruce did, remember what he did? He would try and avoid everything just so that he didn't have to talk. Why? Because then he didn't have to expose himself to possible failure, disappointment, etc. <laughs> That's right. And, and ladies and gents, um, who's been to that far-off village called Cork Bay? Have you been there? Have you seen that lovely, lovely harbor? It's l lovely there, huh? And have you seen when the wo the, there's a storm and the waves are pounding against the, the, the harbor wall? Have you seen that? Most ships or boats are inside the harbor at that time. Because you don't want to be out there in that kind of weather. Is that right? Yeah. So the harbor is a good place when there's a storm. But ladies and gentlemen, those boats go out during when the weather is normal. And you and I, we need to take refuge when there's a storm. But you are created to go out. You are created to do stuff. And that means you're going to have to overcome. Thanks, Heinrich. You're going to have to overcome a, a fear thing. So I want to show you something here. Uh, this principle 
you can apply not only to networking, although I'm going to apply to networking, you can apply it to anything. So there we are in the comfort zone. Would you see that there are four circles? Can you see that? One, two, three, four. Okay. So when we're in our comfort zone, we're in a limited space. You said that, Denzel, I think. It was Denzel, someone said that. And we, but we're comfortable here, we're, and, and, and we feel safe and in control. So let's take public speaking. Oh, my word. Don't ask me to speak. Goodness me. So when everyone, they're looking, oh, who's going to be the next speaker? At, uh, you look away, and you're busy reading something just so that no one will notice. Why? Because the next zone, ladies and gents, for you is the fear zone. And it, it's because of a lack of self-confidence. You find excuses. You're affected by others' opinions. All right? So, in order to get there, in order to grow as a person, you need to go through the fear zone. There's no escaping it. Is that right? You need to go through the fear zone. But imagine Heinrich is this person who, like Bruce, he's, 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 really, he's really uncertain about public speaking. And we say to him, uh, Neil, who does training uh, and counseling and coaching, says to Heinrich, but wait, Heinrich, here are five things that you could do, you know, so that you may not become an expert, but you can, this is how you can navigate, how you can manage that. So this is how to breathe. You know, you know, don't don't do that. Just re relax. Uh, this is this is how you can remember things, and it's okay to have some notes, right? This is this is how you know most people there want you to succeed, want you to think about that, and uh, when you when you're talking, always look at people in the eye like this, so that they feel as if you're talking to them, right? So he gives Heinrich information and maybe coaches him how to apply that information. Heinrich still has fear, but the opportunity to get into the learning zone says, <gasps> okay, so he gets up, he's done everything that Neil has said, and he does his talk. And you know what? He doesn't die. <laughs> he finds out, oh, okay, I can do it. It was actually still, I had fear, but and, and some people come to him and say, Yo, Heinrich, that was amazing. Thank you for that. I didn't know that I could do that within the accounting world. So then Neil carries on with him, gives him some more encouragement, etc. So Heinrich is w working through the fear into the learning zone. And what's in the learning zone? Well, you start to deal with challenges and problems. You acquire new skills. Do you know that networking is a acquiring of a skill doesn't just happen it happens because you're intentional one of the things that you need to do i would suggest is read this 58 ebook page ebook as well and you extend your comfort zone so if you imagine if that's what you're like can you imagine the kind of person you are when you've gone into the learning zone all right you're more confident you're learn you're meeting new people all those things that you said about networking start to happen as you expand. And then Heinrich carries on. And suddenly, not suddenly, but purposely he gets into the growth zone. And there, he can find purpose. He can live his new dreams. He can set new goals and he can conquer objectives. Ladies and gents, this is, a, this is a really cool way to deal with anything where you have got some, some fears, etc. All right? Uh, just understand that it's going to take consistency. So let's get it back into context. We're talking about networking. Networking. All right? Any questions about this so far? Okay. I've, I've helped young people with this. I've seen just like lights come on when, when they've applied this. Not when they've looked at it and said, oh, that's cool. When they've applied it. Good morning. 
So let's go to the next one, Heinrich. Thank you so much. So let's get very practical. Uh, and, and this all comes from Bruce's book, by the way. So we're talking about growing in the art or skill of networking. So what about dress? You, you, what do you think is appropriate for dress? Just go into the cupboard, close your eyes, just get anything, doesn't matter. What do you think? So you dress according to the level of the occasion. Okay. I love the fact that Business Connect is quite relaxed. So, you know, we, we can come in jeans and t-shirts, etc. But uh, when, it, when you th see dress, it also means dress not only on the outside, but on the inside. Come dressed, prepared to engage. So I want to volunteer because I'm going to uh, do something when it comes to the last one, listening to understand. Who's going to volunteer? Someone going to volunteer? Da, da, da. Remember the comfort zone, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, uh, I want to ask someone who has not, there's a string attached, you, you will get my book. So someone who's not got this book, I think you might have my, I'm not sure. Right, someone over here? Thank you, ma'am. Right, and your name is Solenta. Yeah. Solenta, great. I'm going to ask you to participate with me just now, all right? And this book is yours. Um, so, dress, then handshake. Uh, both men and women, this applies to. But why do you think a handshake is important? Y yeah, correct. Yeah, And, you know, we know that during COVID we were kind of skittish and ch -ch -ch spray. <laughs> but we are people where, where part of connection is shaking a hand. So, I, Andre... And Majorzi, I'm going to shake your hands differently. So I'm going to, this, this is what not to do. Just let's shake hands there. Okay, not, notice with my eyes, where am I looking and my hand. Okay, all right. So, and then, thank you so much. Thank you. And then Andre, good to meet you. So Andre, what did you say? Where are you from? You're from Fishhook as yeah, well. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Yeah. So, so. Did you notice that? Look him in the eyes, give a firm handshake, engage, ask him a little bit more. So that's practical. All right. Handshake. Um, don't just do it as, a, as something that's done. Do it because it helps you to build your own connection and brand. And what about names? <laughs> are you, how are you with na remembering names? Thank goodness for these, these uh, labels. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. But names. I remember going to a, a networking session with the chamber. And we had 30 seconds to talk about, to introduce ourselves. And this one guy, good morning, good morning. This one guy got up and he said, Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Dun, dun. And he said, morning, everyone. My name is Jeremiah. And from that moment on, you knew that he was Jeremiah. Now, I'm not suggesting that we sing our names. <laughs> but w the, the key is be clear on your own name, but also think about, um, think about an association. Like if I met up with Heinrich and he told that joke, I think, <laughs> think happy Heinrich, happy Heinrich. So I'm thinking of an H, happy Heinrich. All righty. Think about uh, trying to come up with an association. Uh, Demure Denzel. <laughs> okay, and, and, and you can be, you're going to be have some fun, you know, Ninja Neil. <laughs> Faisal, friendly Faisal, who takes you on these Cape Camino walks. Okay, do you see that? So you can you can to help you remember. Repeat the person's name. What? It's, it's, Andre, Andre, that's amazing. Andre, it's fantastic. When did you come here, Andre? Okay, now I've said it, not because I'm trying to impress him, because I'm trying to get it. Okay, is that all right? So use the name and try and think of associations. 
and a business card. Now, uh, is a business card important? Yes, it is, you know. Uh, it is. So, <clears throat> here's my business card. Entrepreneurity, Business Development Services. I had this done a, about a month ago. So you have business cards. Make sure you have a supply. When you're going to a networking session where there's a possibility of meeting up with people who could be leads, who could be, uh, who could be people who introduce you, etc. How's it going to happen? But with business cards. But here's the other side to that. They're gonna, people are going to give you business cards. Now Bruce relates this and he, he's obviously sharing this with you confidentially. But he says he's got three pockets. So when you give him a business card, and Judy's business card means something because this lady is, I want to, I want to get to know her. There's something important. So I take her business card and put it in my pocket because it's close to my heart. All right? It's, I'm going to follow up on that. Then I meet up with Andre, and Andre I've never met before, but gee, he, you know, so I put, Andre in my left pocket. Okay, it's someone that I'm going to follow up with. And then I meet up with Heinrich, and Heinrich is like, oh my word. <laughs> I'm, I'm just joking. Heinrich is a wonderful, wonderful man. And he says, he puts it in his right pocket, probably not going to follow up on. Because he says, with a business card, ladies and gentlemen, don't just exchange business cards. Make sure that you follow up within 24 hours. I think it's over here as well. But follow up. Follow up. I, Judy, that's amazing. I, 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 you're just the kind of person that we need to do X, Y, and Z. I'm going to send you a, um, a WhatsApp. I'm going to send you an email. Is that okay? In the next 24 hours. I'd like to link you. Um, if you can go to my website, there's also a, you can sign up for the newsletter. What you're doing is you're giving a call to action, particularly for those men and women or, or businesses that you want to explore. Make sure that there's some kind of, I'll call you, I'll do this, will you do that, etc., that there's a call to action. Do you know why? Because it's, it is true. You will eventually have a clump of business cards like this. And you, most people, because they didn't come to the networking session with a, pur with a purpose in mind. They just collect the, the business cards, and then they put them one side, and then they never follow up. And that means that um, the, the, it's like a wasted exercise. Mm. I, I, got, I had lots and lots and lots and lots. So after reading what Bruce had to say, I thought, yeah, that's wisdom. So from now on, I'm going to look out. Did, did I go into the left pocket, the right pocket, the breast pocket? <laughs> so just remember that. Your business card and a call to action. Body language. Do you know that communication, in communication, there are three parts to communication which make up 100%. There's the content of what you're saying. There's the tone, how you say it. And there's the body language behind it. How much percentage-wise, remember all three need to add up to 100%, how much percentage-wise does content, what you're saying, what percentage is that? It's like 10%, I think. You say 10%? What would you say? 20? Did someone say 50? 50? I feel like an auctioneer. 10, 20, 50, anything on this side? How much? 10%. All right. It is actually, ladies and gentlemen, content is 7%. It's like weird. What? And we place so much emphasis on the content. But 93% of what you say has got to do with how you say it, the tone, and the body language behind it. So we're going to see a little exercise. Why don't you come up, please, ma'am? A little exercise to illustrate the use of body language and also to illustrate this one. Come, come, come stand here, please, ma'am. So, you know that many people listen so that they can get their point across. They don't listen to understand. All right. So, Salenta, 
you are going to tell, talk to me as if these lovely people are not here. All right? And what you're going to do is for a minute, you're going to talk, first of all, you're going to select any movie that you loved and tell me why you loved that movie. Is that all right? I want you to take note. She's talking to me. Remember, I'm supposed to be listening to understand. And then you're going to do something else after that. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, okay go. Uh, have you watched um, The Shack? Uh, oh, sorry, The Shack. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what can you tell me about The Shack? Uh, the Shack? I, I don't know. You tell me. Remember this guy, um, somehow he lost his child, and he was blaming God. Yeah. Are you listening to me? <laughs> <laughs> carry on, carry on. Uh, yeah, 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 yes, yes. Okay. Uh, because it seems like your mind is a bit wandering, because <laughs> if I talk to someone, I like to listen to you. <laughs> yeah, Tani. <laughs> Great, Salenta. So, so the, the thing that I wanted to show you, I was exaggerating, and thank you for picking that up. The thing that I wanted to show you was that I was not engaged. I was distracted. I, if I had my cell phone, I would have looked at the cell phone. I would have like, been looking around. Okay? That was the worst way of listening. You pay people a huge compliment when you listen to understand. Now, Salenta, I want you to think about the best place that you've been to. Could be in South Africa. I don't know if you've traveled. Could be in the Western Cape. Anyway, just tell me about the best place that you've been to. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. The best place that I ever went to was, for me personally, it was Paternoster. Paternoster. Yes. Goodness. On the West Coast, eh? Yes. Um, I actually stayed there for a couple of years in you, Cape A whole year? A couple of years? Yes. Wow. And um, because it's a nature reserve and um, also surrounded by um, the beach, yeah. um, for me it was like waking up every morning, um, smelling the, the fresh air. Mm, um, my goodness. It's nature, it's the beach. What, what was the best thing that you saw in nature? What was the, the most um, amazing thing? Actually, the animals. Like okay, the, like? The, the little bugs that came out in the morning. Okay. And um, there was, we had a, um, um, uh, what was this thing's name? That used to come every morning. Um, it's not a springbok. Um, a grijspokkie? Yes, that's it. Is that's that so? Yes, it's a baby one that used to come every morning into our yard and... That was actually the best part for us because we were every morning we easy yeah easy okay yeah, easy and easy and yeah. and and how how did you feel when you saw this grace book here? Um, my my children was actually more excited, you know, because <laughs> it almost became like like a pet to them. And then um, strangely, one morning we were all um, wondering when is this grace book coming. And then my husband came. My, my husband came in and he said that um, uh, this um, um, not wildcats, but it's almost like a caracal. Um, no, no, no. Uh, Lynx. Yes. Um, Lynx. Okay. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. So that day everybody was crying. Okay. Um, because um, we gave him a little name, Buddy, <laughs> was his name. You named the buck. Yes, oh, that's Buddy. Amazing. And then, yeah, so everybody was sad the day when we found out that Buddy was killed. And, um, yeah. So, so Paternoster holds special memories yes. for you because of the, the things you saw, the aroma of the sea, the freshness. Yes. And you almost have a little, you almost had a little pet that would mm. visit you daily but wasn't your pet yeah. but you named them buddy that's amazing yeah. that's amazing okay thank you. you here we are thank you why don't you give her a applause there we are <laughs> so you know i wasn't sure how that was going to work and i was chastised the first time 
Look at me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> but, but can you see the difference? Uh, obviously, we, we're not as doff as to look around when we, but oftentimes we can be looking at the person but not really engaging, not really listening. So one of the things that you and I need to consider is that we need to listen more actively. Isn't it amazing that God gave us two ears and one mouth which suggests that we should be listening twice as much as we are speaking. Mm. You, you also know, I think we've all experienced that. We speak with someone, or there's a conversation, and you can see that the person is waiting for you to stop talking so that they can get their point across. And if you're doing that, then it's almost impossible for you to be at the same time listening to understand. Okay. So when you listen to understand, did you notice in the second example, I asked something, I affirmed, I said, oh, okay. And then did you notice I fed back mm. at the end? And if I'd got it wrong, for example, I said the, the buck's name was John. And you, no, no, it was Buddy. Oh, Buddy, yeah, Buddy, that's right. Okay, she gives me feedback there. But my giving her feedback in, in, a, in a short way helped her to recognize, no, he's actually listened, he's actually got me. And Afrikaans, you, you know, Afrikaans is such wonderful words. In Afrikaans it says, Wur mm. Now, that doesn't mean has the sound entered your ears. It means, do you get me? Do you understand? Okay. So, will you listen to understand? All right. I think there's two more slides. So, what I'm going to ask you to do is, this is very difficult. Okay, this is where you've got to move out of the comfort zone, through the fear zone. Okay, but I want you to find someone that you don't know. Okay, say your name. You can talk about your interest. You don't have to say my business, but your interest. What, what makes you tick? You told us about this lovely buck, for example, and why Paternoster was your job function or your business. Okay. And uh, or the business you work for, you don't have to do all of these, and then then uh, say, just try and and link to that person. Say, oh, okay, when are we going to see you again? What uh, you try and find a way to link with them. All righty, I'm going to give you whew, uh, three minutes. Three minutes. You just need to do this with one person. All righty. Can we strike up the music there? I want you to find someone. Please try and exercise this. Okay. Okay. Heinrich, one more. You're obviously enjoying yourself there. <laughs> okay, guys, just to, just to finish up. Thanks, Faisal. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Mark. Just to finish up, I, I hope that you, uh, in doing that, I hope that, oh, I, I like this. This is something that I can do. And you know what? Just like a skill, like guitar playing, your skill can get better. I remember the first time I tried to play guitar, you know, <laughs> but eventually it began to make sense. All right? It's a skill. So is networking. But if you are more of an introvert, someone who's perhaps a bit shy, here are some things that you can do. If you struggle to connect, and not everyone has the same ability. Most of you look like you got it. But if you don't, here are some things. You can mention your favorite sports team. <laughs> Pardon? That could go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, like we said this morning, it's obvious who Jeff supports. He was wearing a jacket that said K-Ware. And then tell people of a recent accomplishment, you know, something that you've done or, or, or that, that was really meaningful to you. We're talking about connecting, connecting. It's all about connecting with people. Thirdly, tell people about a book you're reading. I'm reading a book called um, Above the Line, which is a wonderful book. Uh, it's a nonfiction book about um, 
living authentically uh, and not with pride and uh, opposite of, of truth, lies, etc. Yeah, yeah. And then share something funny or interesting about your family. You know, so so can you see that? These are little things that, okay, well, gee, I don't know what I'm going to say. <gasps> then this is the kind of go-to thing that you can have. All righty. So ladies and gents, just a reminder, your networking will absolutely influence your net worth. So make sure that you are focused, persistent, and regular. Thank you so much.